Hello there, this is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about chelation for coronary artery disease and the TACT study. Chelation, do you know what that is? It comes from the Greek word claw, which means to wrap around something. And when you chelate something in your body, we give you a chemical that wraps around it and makes it water soluble. Uh, lead and iron are two things for which in modern medicine we certainly do chelate people. Uh, and we have found that when you lower people's lead levels or iron levels, they have fewer heart attacks. There's a remarkable study from Finland that showed that blood donors have a dramatically reduced incidence of coronary artery disease. So we know chelation has been theoretically helpful. The question is, what do you do if you have coronary artery disease? Is it helpful then? Well, the TACT study looked at some 1,700 people who had uh, coronary artery disease, and what they found was that, particularly in diabetics, and particularly in diabetics who took extra minerals, healthy minerals along with it, the incidence of coronary artery disease was reduced some 50% by the use of weekly chelation with EDTA. Now that takes an eye, how do you do that? 50% is huge. How do you do that? Uh, EDTA is an easy chemical to give IV. Some people have side effects on it. You need to go to a place that's familiar with it. And it takes a couple hours to provide it. You need to have it in, a, in your veins. You need to have good veins. And you probably need to do it for in the range of six months. And that's going to cost a couple thousand, that's going to cost several thousand dollars. But considering that heart disease costs a whole lot more, including sudden death, this is a pretty remarkable finding. So what will work for me? I am now offering chelation for coronary artery disease in my practice. And if I had a heart attack, I would do it. And I'd make sure I took the extra minerals. And by the way, they define diabetes as somebody over blood sugar of 124. Uh, the Hunt study from the other studies have shown that heart disease drops all the way down to blood sugar of 86. But at least we know for those with a regular diagnosis, 124. That's real. This is Dr. John Whitkin with News and Nutrition on chelation for coronary artery disease.